Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mouse Diva channel. Moving pictures. Hello there, moving pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been all around the world. Uh, every city, every place. <laughs> So it is time for another haul, a haul that I should have filmed and had up way before now. A month ago, that exactly, I think exactly about a month ago, Mr. Mouse Steve and I went to Alexandria, Virginia. We had never been, had a wonderful time. Those vlogs will be out on my family channel, Life's a Whirlwind, at some point. <laughs> November and December this year is extremely busy for me with work. I've been working a lot and um, everything else has just been on the back burner as you can tell on this channel <laughs> because I used to upload almost every other day and now I'm lucky to upload maybe every 10 days. So we'll see what happens. I'll try to get better but a after December, after the first of the year, it will definitely get better. But anyway, um, Mr. Mouse Diva is like, are you ever going to give me the stuff that I bought in Alexandria? So I have a whole pile over here to my left. I also have a big pile from our Disney World trip that I need to do. Won't be this vlog, a different vlog. I also have a pile from several Biltmore estate visits over the last couple of months that I need to film. And I think, just depending on time, we'll see, I may add in my Charleston um, very short overnight trip with my sister, what we got since that's a very small haul. I may add it into this one. We'll see how it goes. First thing we bought, and at this point I'm forgetting where we were um, when we bought these things, like what stores... Um, some I may remember, some I won't. But these napkins are absolutely hilarious. Um, we're giving them as gifts. If I ever go missing, I would like my photo put on wine bottles instead of milk cartons. That way, my friends will know to look for me. <laughs> okay. My superpower, I can look you dead in the face while you're talking and not hear a darn word you've said. Awesome. Um, my bed is a magical place where I suddenly remember everything I forgot to do. That is my life. That is why my insomnia is so bad, why I cannot sleep at night because I cannot shut my brain off. Last night, the internet stopped working, so I spent a few hours with my family. They seem like good people. And one more. I just bought my husband a Get Better Soon card. He's not sick. I just think he could be better. I forgot about that one. Um, I ran out of coffee this morning. Tequila seemed like a reasonable replacement. Everyone is so pretty today. Oh, you know, I just need to like take one of these and post them on my bathroom mirror every day and it will just start the day off right don't you think okay i'm just going here oh okay so gourmet pizza deli lost dog cafe we ate at this really unique um restaurant and i actually bought a really cool t-shirt um mr mastiva was gonna buy one but unfortunately they didn't have his size um so the front just has their logo and the back life's short p happy and the reason i bought this is you guys that have been with me a while and watch a family channel and this channel you know that i like to i that i have bathroom stories it just doesn't annoy mr mouse diva but he just shakes his head um that i will come out of a public bathroom with another story so i couldn't resist life short pee happy and I love dogs and shirts with dogs on them and this is just comical okay let's see what's in this bag oh okay well this one's easy National Inventors Hall of Fame now this I did not get in there this I got at the um 
Visitor Center in historic Alexandria, street taco peanuts, Virginia peanuts, and so I just thought that sounded interesting. Unfortunately, I did not care for them. They're too powdery, but Mr. and Mouse Diva and my son Lakeland like them. And they got a book at the Inventors um, Museum, which was so cool. I, I can't wait for you guys to go over and watch that channel whenever I edit it and put it up. A uh, very fascinating place. So I'll, I'll just give you like a Walt Disney reference real quick. So you could put in any a name of any person that had a that has a patent, and all their information will come up. So of course I vlogged you know the Walt Disney page. But anyway, um, Hetty's Folly and great i don't have my glasses so now i don't even know what this book is about okay how about i insert a picture for you um and tell you what the book is about and i got some really cool playing cards they're amusement park cards isn't that cool this is the alexandria visitor center bag and so lots of things actually got thrown into this oh <laughs> i keep souvenirs so you're going well the family channel is going to oh we went to mount vernon so got a because we ate there at their restaurant and um this was a pretty cool place a there where else do we eat oh we had pops ice cream so terrible like I keep these napkins like now I'm, I think I have one maybe Walt Disney World napkin remember when the Walt Disney World like it their napkins like it said Walt Disney World I think in the corner it might have been down at the bottom but anyway I think I have one of those wish I would have saved more of those now so I bought um historic cemeteries in northern Virginia you know on my life's a whirlwind channel that I do um stories within the stones I have um, episodes, a series of that, and I have so many more that have not even been like edited yet and put up. So that one, and then inside, oh, we got this free at the visitor center. That's a sticker that I will put on my travel suitcase, not the actual travel suitcase that I use, but the travel suitcase that I use as decor because it's like a vintage and it's hard. You get the picture, and then um. I got some postcards from there and I actually was able to send a few out and then we ran out of time and I didn't get to send the rest out. So there we go on that one. And okay, so nothing else in that book. And I also got a guide to historic Alexandria because we will be back because once again, didn't get everything done, had a whole list, didn't get everything done, hidden history. Of Alexandria and it looks like yes so I have a sticker again another sticker that's what I like to get when we go places so I can put on that travel suitcase and at some point I'm actually gonna do a vlog of all the stickers that were on there let me make sure there's no more stickers in here and ooh, so honeysuckle essential oil goat milk lotion now this was $12.95 got these this in one of the stores in historic um alexandria and oh my gosh this smells so good okay so comment below if you are like me and you were lucky enough to have honeysuckles in your area growing up and i can still remember to this day just peeling back the thought like pulling the little uh, I don't know what you call the middle core out of the flower and then eating the liquid inside of the flower, the honeysuckle. It was so good. Did anybody else do that as a kid? Comment below. Oh, and, um, okay. Darn it. See, this is, who did I get this for? Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. So happy birthday postcard. And now I can't even remember who I got that for. This is pathetic. Oh my God. <laughs> I forgot about it. Okay, we actually got these postcards in the Torpedo Factory, um, which they um, made into like artist um, suites and artist um, space for them to work. I actually got those there. I think this 
was an extra one from the ones I just sent you. Okay, and we have lots of pamphlets. And let's make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, a whole bunch of pamphlets from the visitor's center. All right, this is cool. This is like Christmas because I don't remember what all we bought. <gasps> oh my goodness. So, of course, we had to go to an antique store while we were there. And guys, <gasps> so one day I will do a vlog on all my McDonald's um vintage mcdonald's collection um i got to add to it so i don't have my glasses okay here's goofy and it is an actual epcot center adventure at walt disney world goofy in norway happy meal toy i mean this is just oh my gosh i am so glad that this is still in the package. And this is why I'm always like, don't take it out of the package. Don't open the packages. Because if I would have just saw that land somewhere, I would not have known that it was from this. So that's why it's so important. So I don't take my Funko Pops out. It's just so important. Oh, actually, okay, so do you follow me on Instagram? Because I actually posted where this was sitting on Instagram. And I was like, okay, I just bought one of these. And look at this. Now Halloween is over. Halloween wasn't over when I bought this. And I was going to display this. And now it's too late because I didn't have time to do the haul. And I totally forgot I had it. So this is actually, look at that old school Disney store tag. So I got little poo. Anyway, so I asked people on Instagram, I'm like, which one of these did I buy? And here is another Mickey and Friend Epcot. This is Pluto in France. I'm just so lucky I stumbled upon these. And there he is in his little beret. <clears throat> and oh, it gets better, people. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? So, I'm not going to show these yet. It is going to be a different vlog, but I got some historic postcards. Oh my gosh. Okay. Some of them are actually from Disneyland and Disney World and then um, like other tourist attractions elsewhere, not in Florida. Oh my gosh. So, I'm going to do a whole different vlog on these because going to kind of be like a history vlog but I could have spent so much more time in this antique store because the postcards like just going through the postcards like I ran out of time and oh yay I'm gonna open that at least I can put these out for Christmas I got a whole bunch of vintage Christmas oh it's all taped up so what I'm gonna do is at my outro music. I will have already taken these out. I'll line these up and on my outro music, I will show these individually. But yes, vintage Christmas ornaments. So make sure you stay through the outro. And are you ready? <gasps> Drum roll, please. It is a Fisher Price Happy Meal container. Like, who knew that Fisher Price? I mean, I'm I'm gonna have to look it up. I wonder if there was actually like toys inside of it, but that you could buy a Fisher Price Happy Meal container. Never knew. And I have no. Let's see. What did I pay? I think for? I paid seven ninety nine for this. Oh, this was just. This is one of those finds that it's like, oh, really? Oh my gosh! I bet Mr. Mouse Steve I forgot about these. This wasn't even a present. So at the National Inventors Hall of Fame, he got these glasses. He really only wanted one, but they came in a set of four. But it's just really cool sketch work, basically. And it says a National Museum Hall of Fame on there. So I know it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, the whole set, they're all, they're all the same. So I'm he's sure he's uh, going to be happy to get these back. Okay. And what? Oh, man. This was to put out in Halloween, too. Great. Well, I probably just keep it out all year round anyway because it's so cool. 
Golly, I forgot about these. It is the, um, so this is November 21st, 1961. It is the patent drawings for Spectacle Mask having a festive motif. And it is Halloween. It is the vintage cat and pumpkin. So I'm going to frame these. But... <laughs> Um, February 11th, 1879, and, um, it has the inventor name, and it is for a coffin. A coffin. Yeah, I wanted to, like, get these out and put them out for Halloween, and I, again, totally forgot I had them. This is what happens when I wait so long to film a haul. Okay, we have another book. Haunted Alexandria in Northern Virginia. Oh, see, I'm just all into, like, history and spooky stuff. And, let's see, I think these, okay, we just have catalogs and maps. I'm just having to pull everything out of this really, oh, Mount Vernon, okay. So, we went to Mount Vernon. And I will give you one little tidbit on that. It is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Like the house is smaller than it looks in pictures. Oh, I, oh, I love this. So I bought this and it was, I think it says $6.95. I love doors. I just, I have quite a few um, prints with doors. And I got a book. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. The Social History of Tea. So, I have an idea, um, probably in the spring, there'll be a special video on this channel having to do with that. Oh, this is very surreal. So, this is the actual bed that George Washington passed away in, and I'm standing right there. It's like, I don't know, very surreal. And so I'm going to actually probably frame that and this one. So I'm going to frame this one. And just a postcard. But I just, I don't know. It just looks like a very old painting. And I like that look of it. So I've started a new, like, a new thing. And I'm started getting ornaments i want to do a like a travel christmas tree each year so this is the mount vernon 2022 ornament um not cheap 24 i think that says 24 dollars oops it's a little card but it's so pretty look at that yeah so, yeah, I'm going to start a new thing, new kind of Christmas tree with all the, just, because most places have ornaments that look kind of like this, almost like a brass style ornament and um, just a classic ornament. And because um, I got one for Biltmore also, Biltmore Estate. And um, actually, I think I got two from there because they have such beautiful ones. So, that was our Mount Vernon haul. There was, oh, so many things we wanted there. But it was kind of pricey. This is, I don't even know where we got this. Oh, this was, uh, this was at, actually at the Inventors thing too. This, um, I'm pretty sure Tom got this for a Christmas present. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it took me a while to figure out. Yeah, Inventors Hall of Fame. So, that's, he got that. It was just out of place there. Oh, and the um, potentially catastrophic science, 50, 50 experiments for daring young scientist book, also a present. And let me make sure I don't have any more like patches or stickers, no. Nope. And oh, here we go. Okay, you already saw these are actually Tom's um, books that he got from that book sale, which that video is already up. 
So I hope you check, check, checked that out. Hope you saw it. Oh, he's probably looking for stamps too. They've been in there all along. Underneath the pile, this is, this is absolutely terrible. It's a spirit Halloween bag that I would have bought probably in August. Mm-hmm, yep, nope. Yes, August 22nd. Again, didn't go up on Halloween because I didn't do the haul. It was buried in here in Skyland's room, which I use as a filming room while she is away at school. And check it out. Yeah. Now, granted, this is this will go in our bedroom because our bedroom is Holland Mansion theme. But I could have like displayed it out in the living room for Halloween or the kitchen. Totally forgot to have it, and that was sixteen ninety nine. And look at that. You're getting a spirit Halloween haul, too. Oh, got the little. Um, I like little skeletons. I do different crafts with them. So, these were $4.99. Ooh, look alive. Look alive. Got a magnet. Probably going to stick that on the vehicle, although I'm a little hesitant. Like our annual pass holder magnets. I'm always scared to put magnets on the vehicle because I hear so many stories where people have stolen it. Like their their magnets get stolen off their vehicle. This was $4.99. And so I'm always hesitant to put magnets up there. I don't know. I might, or I might just put them with the rest of our magnets on our washer machine and dryer. That way they don't get stolen or faded or ruined. Just found this in the bag, so also I didn't see it. Got a Mount Vernon sticker for the suitcase. Okay, I'm gonna have to speed it up. I just realized the time. I didn't realize it was this late and I've gotta to get to work. So we didn't buy a lot in Charleston. My sister and I went to Charleston, explain all that, explain why later. Um, but we went to the Charleston um, market. It might have another name. I think it's just called Charleston Market. Anyway, I got this Christmas present for my son. Um, okay. So, this is so cool. I love things with maps. Old maps on them. You know, you see the little artificial books all the time. But this one's special. It's a block box. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, got this for me. And then I did get a Christmas present for my son. And um, so this is actually just a regular fake box. It does have the, mag it's the magnetic clasp, so that's nice. But he loves this type of design and he loves turtles. So he, I think he's gonna, this is gonna be one of those unique gifts that he's gonna be like, wow, that exists. Mm -hmm. It is because Josh Gates from Expedition Un Unknown was there um, doing a live show. So I bought this bag and um, I got the stickers have fallen. Got this little journal. It's signed by Josh Gates. Got a couple stickers. Expedition Unknown. I just, oh. Josh Gates has like the dream job. And I think I got some more stickers. They probably fell out into the bag. Um, oh, look at that. Okay, this got a Charleston sticker to add to the suitcase. And the Expedition Unknown sticker will be added to the suitcase. And as you can see, basically, this is all they did. Took a cheap little lined notebook and stuck a sticker on it and sold it as a journal. But, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, oh. Got, oh, we vi my sister and I visited the Santee Canal. I mean, this is like, this area is just so, so interesting. Oh my gosh, yeah. And it looks like I have some more stickers or patches. Yes, okay. Old Santee Canal. This one is actually um, a patch. And then, oh, I just thought this was beautiful. Oh my goodness, things are sticking to the back of the postcard. Got this postcard, but I'm not sending it out. I'm keeping it. And 
Cypress Gardens. Oh, wait till you see that video. Had movies like The Notebook were filmed there. So this goes on the suitcase. And then the bed and breakfast we stayed at, because it was right before Halloween, they had these little napkins. I loved these napkins, so I took two of them. And, oh, this is the big, the big item. So if you're familiar with Josh Gates, you know that there is a certain, like, sundial pennant that he always wears. Oh my gosh, it just fell off. Okay, so they just give you this like cheap little faux leather thing to wear. And it actually works like as a sundial would work. So this is a replica of what he wears around his neck. And I know, again, I know I'm doing this really so really quickly. And then they give you like um, the directions of how it works, what number I got of the pennant and that type of thing. I almost forgot this. My sister and I stopped at an antique store and I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. It's pretty old. Little boy holding the, the dog. And I got one more thing. I know there's a glare. There we go. One more thing. Make that two things. I forgot that was wrapped in there. They had these at the counter. They were burning one, and this was the last one. The scent is amazing. It reminds me of the uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean fruit scene, like the fruit market scene. Market scene. There we go. But what I also liked about it, it's going to be hard to see, but I'm like, after I burn this down, this jar is so pretty. I love the um, the design in the glass, and I can reuse it. So now one more thing. It is this 1973 Jim Bean Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Decanta Decanter. I love the poodle. I hate that the little stickers coming off. I can probably um, put a little glue dot there. Originally it would have had like a piece of red yarn, big thick yarn around here that made it look like a ribbon and it is um missing its stopper but if you look real close in there you can actually see the original um like uh what do you want to call this not the label but it was a label but it you know it it showed that it hadn't been open i can't think of what this is called that would have held the stopper on too i just need to clean it up a little bit i'm very excited to have found this so Thank you very much for checking in on the Mouse Diva and watching another haul vlog. Hope you are having a wonderful fall. Christmas will be here before you know it. I appreciate Ooh, you yeah. guys so, so much. Hope you are having a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever it may be. There's a wind of change I've never ever felt this way Longing for you